Hello, uh, I am Orest Bolitski. I am a member of uh, uh, Rotary Club of Petaluma. Also, I am a, an endodontist in Petaluma, California. Endodontist is a root canal specialist. I'm also a member of the uh, Ukrainian community of the Bay Area. Uh, my family and I arrived in the United States uh, in 1992 after the fall of the Soviet Union. I have a wife and two adult daughters and we still maintain close uh, ties with uh, Ukraine. We have uh, our relatives and friends in Ukraine and we visit periodically pretty much every year. It was a huge surprise when uh, Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th. This didn't make any logical sense. However, there are reasons why Russia invaded. And the main reason for this invasion is uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin's intolerance of independent Ukrainian state. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Ukraine was still under the strong influence uh, by Russia. And it suited Russia, because Russia, Russia always viewed Ukraine as a vassal state. But during the years of independence, Ukraine was steadily moving towards uh, European values and towards the Europe. So eventually it became obvious, after two Maidan revolutions, that uh, Russia will not be able to keep Ukraine in its orbit of influence. So, for Putin, it became desperate. And that's why he decided to invade, to force Ukraine back into his orbit of influence. The war mobilized Ukrainian society as well as the world, as we can see. In Ukraine, uh, it's not only the army, and territorial defense that are fighting the invaders. It's the whole Ukrainian society. It's a big army of volunteers that are working tirelessly around the clock, 24-7, for the common cause. When Russia invaded, they planned this war to last for a couple days. But they were mistaken. They didn't expect that Ukrainians will put such a fierce resistant, a resistance. And bravery and stoicism of Ukrainian people stunned the world. And despite of being outgunned and outnumbered, Ukrainian people are successfully fighting back the Russian invaders. Big part of this fight is a voluntary movement of Ukrainian people. And uh, Rotary Club of Leopolis takes important part in this movement. What Rotarians do, they are feet and eyes on the ground. And they learn about the immediate needs of people uh, on the front, about the territorial defense unit, about hospitals and civilians trapped in war zones. And what they do, they try to, to meet that need as soon as possible. So they procure the needed things in Poland, in Germany. They have um, many people working in Poland and Germany uh, on, that, uh, on that chain of supply. So they procure the needed items, they carry them quickly uh, through the Polish border to Ukraine and they distribute among the needed. They work with uh, military, with territorial defense, they work with hospitals. Specifically, they uh, do a significant amount of work with a children's hospital in Lviv, Ukraine, where they uh, supply uh, them with medicines, with equipment, and whatever else the need is. So this is a very important activity because it fills the gaps between the official supply lines, between the lines of uh, supply of weaponry from NATO countries and the United States. 
Some time ago I was approached by uh, a friend of mine, Yuri, who is a member of Rotary Club of Lviv Leopolis in Ukraine. He asked me whether we could help his Rotary Club in their uh, volunteer activities. So of course I couldn't say no. Yuri is my dear friend of 40 years. Uh, we go way back uh, to childhood. We remained friends since then. So of course I wanted to help. As a result we did a fundraiser in our Rotary Club of Petal Petaluma for Yuri and his friends and we are planning another fundraiser who will take place on May 10th in Petaluma. And uh, it is really inspiring uh, to, to do business with Yuri and his friends. They are so optimistic, so devoted to the cause. Most of them, they pretty much took vacation from the main jobs, from the businesses, and they are working tirelessly on volunteering 24-7. So, uh, and it's so uplifting to deal with them, to talk to them, because after watching the news, uh, it can get quite depressing. After I talk to Yuri and my friends, I get a shot of optimism. They are positive, they are energetic and they believe in the victory of Ukrainian cause without any reservations. One more reason why we are so excited and uh, so enthusiastic about working with uh, Rotarians of uh, Rotary Club Lviv Leopolis is because they are 100% efficient. All the money that we give them is put to good use. They don't have overhead expenses and they use 100% of funds to, to go to real help to real people that need it. As we all can see, this war, no matter how senseless it is and how localized it is at this point, this war is not a local event. We can see already how it is affecting all of the world with prices of fuel, with prices in grocery stores, with inflation. And even more important, we can see now this is a war literally between good and evil. It's rarely in history when we can see clearly who is good guy, who is bad guy in a conflict. And this war, Ukrainians are fighting in the front lines, defending the democratic world, because this fight is between dictatorship and democracy, between evil and good. And the result of this war will determine whether we all will live in a world of law and order or in a dangerous world where cruel dictators can, uh, can force their will on other people, where bigger, stronger countries can invade smaller countries, where nuclear arsenals can be used to blackmail people. So it's important for us to act because as we know, as genius Einstein said, that most of evil in this world is done when good people are staying on the side and watching. So it's important to act no matter what actions we take, no matter how small, it's important to do something. Thank you for your attention.